Okay, let's see now. Where do we leave off? Did the tech questions and the um yeah okay so from one sixty one it looks like. Answers. Okay. For the following exercise, use the mean body term and find all points between zero and two such that f two minus f zero equals um okay. Okay, so f dash c would be f of 2 minus f of 0 over 2 minus 0, which would be 4. So 3x squared equals 4. So x equals 2, oh, uh, 2 root 3 over 3 then. Wouldn't that be right? Now, it's just so that's the that's the c really then then see that two root three over three perfect okay six one once that's one sixty one one sixty two f dash c sine two pi minus sine zero over two minus zero so the derivative is pi cos pi x equals zero. So that means pi x needs to equal pi over two. Isn't that it? Or three pi over two? So x equals a half. So that's actually, sorry, that's really C. I should be saying that X. Okay, 163. Basically the, the same thing. 2 pi sine 2 pi X with a minus here. Uh, cos 4 pi minus cos 0 over 2 minus 0. So minus 2 pi sine 2 pi x cos, that's 1. Uh, 1 minus 1. So x needs to equal 0 or 1. But we can't have 0. So one. Uh. Hmm. Oh yeah. There's also a half because sine pi over two is sine pi. Sine pi. So one or a half. Oh, and then um when's when's the next one now hang on dun 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 so that would be so 
zero, which we can't have. This one here happens when you get a pi, which is a half. And then this one here is one. So is it just one and a half? But uh, we can cycle again. One and a half three over two. Is that what it is? Yeah, okay, yeah. I made a mistake on that trick one. One sixty-four C plus two C equals all over two minus zero. Uh two squared four five six seven minus one. So that means 3c equals 6 over 2, so c equals 1. 165, 10, c minus 1, 9, equals 1 uh, minus, and then 0, uh, 1 over 2 minus 0. So uh, does that just mean c is 1? Okay, and then 166, kind of the, nearly the same, although the odd might affect it, the power. 9, uh, C minus 1, 8, uh, equals 1, minus minus 1, over 2 minus 0. So that's 2 over 2, which is 1. So, a bit messy, but C minus 1, uh, 1 over 9, uh, the 8 root, plus 1. Uh, but I have no answer at the back to check that. 2 minus 1 is 1, minus 1 power 9 is minus 1. Okay. I think I can get another one in here. Um, okay, for the following exercise, I show there is no C between um, 1 and minus 1. Uh, yeah, so for 167 do, does not exist a derivative of c for all for all c in the interval or maybe i could just say it does not exist um a derivative at a half that's the reason why 168 um it's not continuous at zero not continuous at x equals zero. Um, 169. Interesting. Interesting. Is it again no derivative at zero? I think so. 170. That's the floor function. Um, there's n it's discontinuous at one and also at at zero. Actually, what's the problem with one seventy? Let's think about this. Um, one is one, and then ah, uh, okay. I think it goes back up to minus one. Then yeah, so there's no um, not continuous at f of one. And f of minus one is that the reason let's check the answer at the back mm -hmm. 
Not differentiable. Yep. One sixty seven also not differentiable. So one sixty eight and one seventy not continuous. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Yeah, so up to one seventy done. I think that's good for today. We we'll wrap it up there. Thanks for watching.